Good evening, everyone, and welcome to East Hartford, Connecticut. We are here at Hall of Fame Silver Lanes for NEBA number 963, and it is the Bullwinkles Pro Shop Singles Open. We're here for the round of 16, and we're bowling on an interesting pattern, Beaten Path version 2. Bruce Hall with you. We'll be bringing you four rounds of action, round of 16, round of 8, round of 4, and round of 2. And the final match, of course, I'm joined in the booth by a couple of special guests. First of all, let's bring in our bracket master who's going to take <laughs> us through the matches, uh, Randy Hackamoser. Hey, Randy. How's it going? How's it going, guys? Oh, did I forget uh, Bowler of the Year last year? Nah, Sorry. It's, I, past, I, it's I, old I, news now. I'm not making cuts you're, this year you're, so you're, far. You're so. yesterday's news now, my yep. friend. And, and, of course, the proprietor of our title sponsor, Bullwinkle's Pro Shop, Mr. Rich Reynolds. Hey, Rich. Hi, Bruce. Thanks how, for having me. How are you? Great to see you. Everything's good. You know, Rich, I was just thinking, how long have we known each other? That's a good question. 70s? Before I was born. Well, I was born in 69, so we didn't know each other in the 70s. But oh, well, I don't know. I might have I come <laughs> over. Do you put yourself <laughs> old, I might have come over for a play date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you little punks. <laughs> just, just, just to make it clear, so I finished second in Aniba, no, it was third in Aniba in 1974 at Bloomfield Bowling Center. So there you go. So how old were you? you I were, was five. You were five. Yeah. God damn, I'm old. I was still, I was bowling, and but I was not bowling Aniba. Oh Thank God I have uh, the dog in this race <laughs> coming up, which is Andrew Hall. Anyway, uh, so uh, welcome to the live stream. Glad thank to you. have you, and thank you so much for sponsoring. Uh, great turnout uh, at the event today, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. 197 entries, 40 qualifiers, and Gentlemen, why don't, uh, Randy, why don't you take us through our matches? Again, it's the round of 16. Yeah, absolutely. Round of 16. Um, on our future pairs, we got 31 and 32. We got Anthony Fusco versus Jay Johnson. And on our right side, 33 and 34, we got uh, Stephen Major versus Tyler Perry. Um, then I'll go down to the left side, which we have down there, Monroy versus Kevin Karelusian. 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 You know Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, I drill stuff, and he bowls on my team on Mondays. Well, he just threw a huge double to beat Hunter huge Kempton double. to Hunter get into pin. this. Yes, yep, and Hunter a, flush aided. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been rolling it good. Uh, yeah. Twenty nine thirty, we got uh, Dennis Bissonette versus uh, Sean Simo Nelly. Dennis and then uh, uh, second high qualifier second high shooting two hundred seventeen yeah. over. At second squad opened up a little for the left side. Yeah, he definitely uh, threw, a, threw a purple hammer, I think, or a purple. Well, 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 um, let me know when that happens. For yeah, me. right. It didn't didn't okay, much for me, you. but it did. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> skipping these pairs, then we going over to uh, 35 and 36, which we have Tyler Hearn, who is our tournament leader today at what two plus 256 uh, against uh, Jesse Gibson. 256. 256. That's yeah. Right. And then uh, we got your Haas, Andrew Hall versus uh, Pierre Moody. 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 Yes. And then uh, last pair we got uh, Malik Grove versus Matt Brockett. All right, and all of these bowlers won their last round. We had 40 qualifiers, and the way we do that now, guys, is we actually have 24 buys. Uh, we don't have a whole bunch of bowling uh, in the first round for 40 qualifiers, so only 16 bowlers bowled and the top eight advance, and that got us to 24 plus eight, got our round of 32, which we just had, and now we have our winners of that match, and now we're in the round of 16. So, guys, we have one thing in common, all of us. We all missed the cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, we do call it the Bitter Bowlers uh, broadcasting scheme. So, here we go, buddy. Come on. Andrew Hall coming over to give me a give me a tap. Give you that so, love, man. So, tell us about the pattern. Uh, it is Kegel beaten path. Uh, 41 feet, 26.05 mils, 5.71 to 1 ratio. And quite a bit of that right in the middle of the lane. So, you saw a lot of people play in the center. Um, Rich, how did you find them? How did you play them? How did you watch people playing them? What were your, what so you the, the best the best look I saw was, well, Alex Aguiar had a good look uh, throwing uh, Alter Reality, say, you know, 15 or 12 towards the gutter, I would say. Uh, he had a really good look smashing them. Uh, if you squared up, you did, there was no ho hold at all. Uh, there was no free hook to the right. So uh, Same you, on the left. you had to throw it really good, um, hit your spot, and make your spares, really. Uh, Doubles were hard to uh, hard to get for sure, uh, and making those spares were really key. Plus, you know, pair to pair, you know, some pairs hooked really early, others not so much. Uh, so the cross was uh, interesting, shall we say? 
and of course side to side you're going over to the low end uh, and people reported hold on that side and no hold over here was yep. generally what I heard and we got down into uh, 49 and 50 and they were they were like 10 they hooked at least 10 more mm -hmm. than any other pair that's where blocks go to die I was talking to Vialli about that mm -hmm. and uh, he said they the they, pressure they was over there yeah, yeah. yeah there was 130 shot on that pair so I mean I th why did they put that side on in that was no, in the we, 2000s. We had almost a, yeah, yeah. When not, they put not those that long ago. In, yeah, not right. that long ago. Well, these are all new glow links. Right? They are, yeah. And uh, Bolero, which which took over from the Renauds, of course, mm -hmm. here, uh, yep. has done a lot of that. They put a lot of glow link in. They did it up in Shrewsbury, too. So we see a lot of that. Yeah, be a beautiful place, really, to bowl. Uh, you know, just the some pairs where there's just a lot more hook, a lot more early hook. And, uh, I mean, even uh, down the pairs, 49 down, you know, you, if you got far enough left on the right side, you could feed it towards the gutter, and it still came back. Mm -hmm. Other pairs, it was 2 8 10 every time. So funny with the new lane surface. You, so you got to believe there's topography. There's a tremendous amount of air movement in this place. I wonder if there's, you know, different pairs that get more air blown over it. Than I'm sure like every that, so. every five or six pairs is usually a pretty big AC unit blowing toward the the approaches. So yep. Yep. it's like that yep. in almost all the Bolero centers. So, Rich, you talked about Alex Aguirre. He shoots 161 over this morning, and Bill Webb was high qualifier uh, on that block at 172. So, Webb and Aguirre are number one and number two at 9 a.m. They both lost last round. Yeah, it's uh, surprising, too, because uh, there you – well, I didn't see Alex, honestly, but I saw uh, Billy Webb using a lot of surface on a ball, playing the track generally. I think he, he – I think he did that in qualifying too, but he might not have used that much surface, which probably put him in, in a little bit of trouble. I know, you know, with that much surface, you miss right. It was a bucket, and then you try to square up a little bit and went through the face. So maybe it was just a little too much surface on that ball. But uh, he told me he shot a very ugly 150 or 250 game his first game. I yeah. said, "There's such a thing as an ugly 250 <laughs> game?" I said, "Maybe not." <laughs> Well, web is web. Web got a web, so there we go. Yeah, I mean, if you had a big game, you were, you know, you could relax and, you know, just grind it out, and you could make the cut. But if you had, if you were pacing 190 every game and you needed a 240, 250, it wasn't happening. That was my problem. I went 190, 189, 190, you know, 199, and now I'm minus 20 with two to go, and now I'm panicking, you know, because yeah. I, I know I got to get 60, 70 somehow. Then you throw it good, it goes six, eight, or four, nine, and. I, you lose your mind. I yeah. did the exact opposite in the second squad. I had a good good number going in the last game and then just fell apart. Yeah. Caught a pair that looked exactly like the fresh. Because I bowled the fresh two and shot minus a lot. Yep. That was a 200 pin difference between the first and second block. So Jay Johnson comes out front three against Fusco. I talked to Jay about that ball because uh, he had a conversation. Uh, I guess Frankie, uh, he bowls with Frankie Kalka and Frankie told him to drill that ball. Uh, electrify solid and he thought it would roll really good for him today. yeah boy i had you know is that different than the old electrify how, yep. how is that yeah it's, it's a, a third in the line it's yeah a third it's a lower line. diff ball normally with okay, some yeah. surface on it so it would roll good for a high rev guy here especially where you needed to lay off a little bit yeah. in the back because i had one of those it feels like five years ago i might, might have drilled the, the first hybrid and the pro came out about three four years yeah ago. that yeah. one's yeah. newer anyway yeah it was a new couple years i would say okay yeah Yep. No, I, I, uh, I, yeah. I like that. I like that surface. It's been uh, nice and mellow for me. I think I'm going to drill one of those new electrophones. Yeah, I Pilot. think so, too. Yeah. Pilot, you got to erase the gutter. So how, is, uh, how are things going in the shop? Um, uh, it, most people are reporting pretty good business. How are you doing? Yeah, it's, uh, business is good. You know, we, we see a lot, of, um, a lot of new faces. So uh, people are coming in. Even some open bowlers are coming in and getting into the game, which is good. And the center is really busy. So... Uh, uh, bowling is uh, is good for us right now. That's great to hear. Yeah, great to hear. we hope it uh, we hope it continues for sure. Well, I hear the same thing from Alex and John Van Hees. I hear the absolutely. same thing from Forey. I hear mm -hmm. right Strike FX. Uh, yeah, Randy absolutely. Worked there, so things are cooking. absolutely and uh, not just in the pro really shops, the bowling alleys. I'm seeing no lanes available all the time. That's fantastic, especially nights and weekends. It's been. And I hope it's just not a rebound from the pandemic. You know, everybody's just, thank God I can go out again. Yeah. You know, I, and I hope it lasts. You know, I hope it, it stays with us. But I was thinking, you know, hey, it's a place to gather. You know, mm -hmm. people now really appreciating that, you know, a little bit more. So Yeah, you can we get can together with your friends and bowl like you used to and hang out, which is nice. Uh, yeah, we, now, all, we all just take that for granted. And, you know, it's like I think a lot of people really miss that. So what's going on with this Deadwood on 33 and 4, guys? Uh, they... 
The guy went down reset. there and he mi oh he he reset that ten pin. Yeah, they're waiting on a okay, reset. Okay, so on the now ten. they've got to spot the ten. And they still didn't even turn. get rid of the dead one. <laughs> right. So the deadwood issue has I been. I think we're over two. The biggest thing today. I saw a lot of them and I saw a lot of resets because they kept tripping the cameras. Oh yeah, you know even yeah. a a little movement of of, mm -hmm. a, of a pin, a little wiggle would cause a strike to show up yep. and not a yep. nine spare. So yep. I don't know what it is about these cameras or how that works. But I would say let's go talk to Tony Renat about that, but he's not involved. He's, he's not, not, involved <laughs> not here no more. I don't know. Shout out to Tony. Here, I hear he's healthy. He's getting uh, in remission here, Tony is. That's what I heard. So good stuff. Your hoss is running so away Andrew, right now. Andrew Hall front five. Let me tell you about Andrew's reaction last night. And, and not, to, not to get all excited as a dad or anything but he was throwing that um the bl the the black widow uh, purple yep um and boy let me tell you something he he would throw it and it would look like it was going to turn you know through the pins and it would just set up with eyes to the pocket and just go flush he shot 270 his first game <laughs> he, hit, he had enough to make the cut in his first game <laughs> yeah. last night that's what you just needed a big game for and, sure and the, and the ball it just had eyes to the, it was amazing and then all of a sudden it started going a little early actually started flipping a little more on him, you know, instead of laying off. So What was the red ball right. he's using, that dark, deep red? Is That's that the uh, tank. Motive tank? That's a tank, yep. yeah. Cool. Yeah, so he likes that ball, too. Andrew's not with any uh, staff, uh, so he's, uh, you know, shopping around. Yeah. And he takes the best of all worlds. And Excellent. He, you know, he's able to do that. He's got a lot of storm stuff that he loves. And yeah, well, you can blend out your bag and all your reactions that way, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, so... He'll probably, you know, he's going to finish up school this semester and look to go on tour next year. Uh, so whether he gets on staff then, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So. And as soon as we say that, 4-6. Yep. <laughs> the Jinx. High, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the booth. <laughs> and, and don't even worry about it. It's just, it's just part of the game. That's how it works. So. Uh, your boy Kevin just went 2-4-7-10. Uh, right. Yep. And here's, the other here's Steven clearing out the other Deadwood. So now we've got to do some score three, clearing. They're gonna, these guys are going to be two or three frames behind yep. by the time we get all said and done here. Here's Jay Johnson going for the front four against Fusco's Open so to take a commanding lead on 31-2 and two here. Now what is that ball he's throwing? That's Electrify Solid. That's from a, that we just said that. Yeah. 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 Yep. All right, thank you. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, we, Monroy's got a pretty decent lead with with, with uh, Kevin possible open. We'll see if he makes a spare here. You know, Chris, Chris has been working with uh, Chris Forey, and he's got his roll a lot more forward, it, and he's got him lined like up it. to where he's. Um, oh wow! Yeah. He does there we convert go. it. Keeps it close. Yep. Keeps it way down four. Yep. Wow! Four pin match on twenty seven and eight. It'll be way to the left of your screen there. They have. They didn't bring you tape yet. <laughs> Tyler Perry putting out a bid, a, a plea for tape. An SOS um, for tape. SOS for tape. Uh, unfortunately, the people watching us are not here, Tyler. We can't help you. I have my bag <laughs> in the Jeep if he wants me to run out and get him <laughs> some. I probably have some, too. I, I got two different kinds, in fact, but I'd have to leave the microphone. And we, go. we don't okay. want that. Now, Dennis Bissonette has gone double, open, double. Let's see what uh, Kevin can do pin, yeah. down there against uh, Chris Monroy. Yeah, they both have triples, and they're both clean by virtue of Kevin's conversion yeah. of that 2 4 7 10. I'm pretty sure at the deep end, uh, Vi Viali's got a lead on his match. Does he? Um, and Mal Malik's beaten uh, Brockton pretty easily right now. And there's a kiss of death on the Electrify. Lottie. A little wide at the break. And there's an eight. Oh, Matt so saw a lot of those. Matt, Matt Brockett. Yeah. Yep. Randy, Randy, we do have the official live oh, stream I can't binoculars use those. <laughs> if you need them. So I can't they, have they I can't have six, six eyes. My, okay. my four eyes is already, already enough, yeah, and no. I. Yeah, I don't know. It's not enough to eyes. see, but trying to see through those and through these, it makes it tough. So meanwhile, Andrew goes front five open, and his opponent has gone open last three. So Actually, it, it looks like, uh, with the glasses, it looks like yeah. Viali in uh, that match is tied. Does it? Okay. Yeah. Viali and Viali Joe. Can, yep. Joe DePietro. Yep. 
Violet just from face for seven, though, it Ran looks like. Randy, Randy using the binoculars. I, I was able to see it. going to make it work. See what I tell you. I know, it's not bad. Those yep. are the official live There's stream binoculars. There's a seven count for Violet. And Chris had a nice look up here on 29 and 30 last game, too, rolling mm -hmm. that uh, Zen yep. Master. That was a really nice roll. Yeah, he, he pulled next to me both squads, uh, and the Did first he? squad he, he looked like he tried to do his normal up the area, you know, outside, yep. and it definitely didn't look good. When he moved in, he was throwing the wrong ball. Yep. Second squad, he got in the right ball, which is still that Zen Master, and just really kind of peeled it through 20, and it looked yeah. really good. When he rolled it at the gutter, it saw it and went mm -hmm. to the rack, and when he when he tugged it in, it laid off, went to the rack. Yeah, the key was you had to see it. The ball had to see it before it got through it. Yep. The pattern. If you got around the back of the pattern, you were done. Yeah. You had nothing. Andrew actually has come off that tank. He's got a phase four in his hand now. Yeah. He was trying that last night. And he did too. strike in the seventh. Yeah. And the major Perry match is back. Back, back going, yeah. Progressing. Malik Grove throws it really good. Yeah. Sure. He just He's on 279 pace with trip one, four. one miss. <laughs> trip yeah, four. Yeah. He's got like a 30-pin lead. You get triple Ooh. four on this. Forget about it. Andrew just got one right, and he got away with it. it got a little light back, four seven. Gets the light late seven pin out. So Andrew doubling again. Chris Monroy, blower seven. Thank you very much on a strike. Oh, blower seven ten. Wow. Couldn't quite see the ten pin from here, but that's a that's a kick in the stomach for Monroy. Jesse, light 7-10 against our uh, tournament leader. Oof. That was, was the problem, through too. Six, you know. That ball just saw it too early, and you got it too right. It just never returned. Yep. Oof. Which I saw on the burn happen less, a lot less. You could get that ball to come off. It, that. Would, it, would, it would bank off the Like that shot the right track, there yeah. would have struck on 1230. Yep. yep, bank off the track. And the scores went up a little bit, guys. You know, it would, wasn't like, you know, they went crazy. Actually... The cut was 81 over for both 9 a.m. and 12:30, so it's not like it changed a whole lot, mm -hmm. you know. Well, like you said, pair, pair to pair was a huge, huge disadvantage yeah. to a lot of people. Well, I there were fewer them. pairs to cross at 12:30. That's true. They weren't using uh, this end of the house. And, and looking at the uh, the graph, you would think the scores would have been a lot higher. Yeah. But when you threw a ball, <laughs> you could see. Oh boy. Kevin gave it right back to uh, yes, Monroy with a high 4-6-10. So uh, midi, midi four in a row now against Hall. Yep. Uh, however, just went three off the right. I didn't think there was that kind of OB on this pattern, but he found it. If you're deep enough, definitely. Wow. Well, that's going to be big trouble against Andrew for midi. Now here's Perry, nine pin lead on 33 and four, but they're only in the fourth frame. Everybody yep. else is in this, at least the fifth or the seventh or higher up. And nice genetic platinum. That ball has been good for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Especially, uh, I know Ditto loves his. Corey likes his. Yep. So what's the latest in layouts now? Because Chris Forey and I have this debate all the time about pin up, pin down. How the pin down actually goes through the fronts better because the pin's further away from the vowel and it reads better on the back end, which mm -hmm. is completely counterintuitive. Raising the RG, lower in the diff. Raise the everybody RG, thinks the pin diff. down reads early <laughs> is not the case. Okay, so we need to... We need to, to bur burst this myth right now because... Let the experienced guy and yeah, the sponsor we'll of this event talk well, what's your about that. About what do you think? I, I mean, I, I like pin down on my stuff. Uh, it clears really good, and it gives me a little t curve in the back. Um, it doesn't read early. Uh, you know, the the, the uh, you know, you're drilling uh, different portions of the ball, changing the uh, RG and differential values. So, um, you know, that myth of uh, earlier rolling with pin down is not the case. Well, I've, my, my favorite drilling's always been pinned through the ring, which is very arky. It doesn't, and that leaves it about two and a half for my, my valve. Yeah, so it'd be early and so smooth. Early and smooth. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm always looking for. But then I if further over pin under the middle, you know, that will give me nice and smooth through the front a little bit more. Just more. A little more yeah, read off the friction. Quickness later. A little more, yeah. a little more forward. Yeah. 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 But very controllable, too. Nothing yeah. is going to go skid well, flippy. Well, for that, for you, is probably, what, four and a half or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, about four and a half. So it's still a strong valve. layout for you. It's not like you're putting it five and a half or six where it's not going to flip. Right. Yeah. Andrew gets another. Andrew shreds the rack. Yep. Now, Mitty did convert that three spare. No, but he's got a big lead on him. Uh, yeah, Andrew, but Andrew's Andrew's looking at 260. 260. He's, uh, he's yeah. up 46. Yeah. yeah, and on a double going into the tenth. 
I'll tell you, Andrew's pretty dialed in. Uh, DePito's got a lead on Viale. DePito's go, got a turkey going into the tent. Monroy just went week 10 on 28. So that match is a lot closer now. That was four pins, so. And Bissonnette just flagged a seven pin. He's up by 28, though. Well, back-to-back -back opens, though. So yeah. now he's only up 17. Yeah. Um, he had a, what, 30-something pin lead. Four seven. He's got a forty one pin lead, does Johnson. And now Perry looking to extend his lead. He's up by nine over Stephen Major. And Kinetic Platinum. He does gets that the ball. Job. He gets that ball over the head so well. He sure does. Now Dennis Bisonet, amazing blower ten he just left on twenty nine. And Andrew does get the first one in the tenth, so that's going to be that's the end of that match. Jesse, you got too much, too much roll going on, mm -hmm. too much surface. Throws it like a champ, though, for sure. You see him post his How's videos. He's he's throwing it, working every day. It's yeah, he's throwing it really good. How's Malik? Is Malik Malik's win? It's a win, right? Yeah, Malik's got a win. Okay. So two, Malik, two. Andrew, what's going on with Valley? Mr. Binoculars. Hold on. Viali is got a 178 in the ninth with the first strike in the tenth to the Pitos. Can't read it. <laughs> I'm not that good with them. Can't read it. There, there, there's a focus knob on the top. I'm trying. There you I'm go, using Austin. them all. Turn them around. Turn them around. You're looking at the wrong end. No, I'm definitely not looking at the wrong end. <laughs> Wait. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. You got focus. it now. Just like Almost, bowling. almost. Okay, so. 148 in the eighth with a strike in the ninth, so 208 out in the out. 27. The 27 and 28. Kevin can get up in if he. 203 uh, to 208 is their finish. He's got 230 and. Uh, what does he have? 26, 216. So yeah. he throws a strike here. Puts him in pretty good shape. Vialli bucket on the second shot. So 193 now. if he makes the bucket to the Pito can strike out for 208. Okay, so it's close. So it is close. Down to the 10th. Now Kevin is down on the score sheet. Ugh. But now he leaves almost a blower 710 in just a week 7. Right. And he is down by 6. Even though yeah, he could he have done sheet that to win. Yeah. Yeah. Needed He's that down. double. Yeah. 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 Anthony moves in a little more. Still got that the ball coming six, off the spot real yeah, hard at that no, track area. No shim there. Had a little bit in, in the second squad. That urethane on the left side, people throwing urethane, created a little shim. If you create yeah. a little bit more angle through the front, you, you could create some shim there. I'm afraid uh, Mr. Tyler, number one seed's locked up his match. Yeah. Okay, there's a um, spare for Kevin. Still down eight, six. Um, the match will go down to the tenth, though. Yep. This is the Monroy Kevin match. An Andrew won his. And Tyler Perry pulling away now with double spare triple. Peel Valley. Depito got the first hit in the tenth. Rich, we want to thank you a lot for your sponsorship. I don't know if you knew it, but we have over $60,000 in cash and equivalent equipment donated by people like Storm and yourself. As I was looking folks. at it. So Excellent. We have a wonderful good to set hear. of sponsors. Let me go through them real quick. We have yeah, eight, um, four or less. Mm -hmm. We have Cambridge Credit, uh, Chris Viali, Many Styles of Bowling, LaRue, East Coast Sports Investors, Jeff Dawson, Strike FX. Your alma mater there, Randy, with John and Alex. Bullwinkle's Pro Shop, Rich, of course, your event here. Buddy's Pro Shop, Chris Lurie, will be there next, by the way, folks. 4-9 and 4-10 will be the Buddy's Pro Shop singles with $1,000 added by Buddy, by Buddy's uh, Pro Shop. And that will be the first Paul Forey stop and the second Women's Bowling Seriously.com stop. So that coming up on 4-9 and 4-10. Mark your calendars. Thanks to Logo Infusion, Kenny Keegan, Ace Mitchell, Vinny Gerzon, we're having the Logo Infusion Senior Event at 4.30, uh, April 30th down at Walnut Hill, and non-champs on 4.30 and 5.1 down at Walnut Hill. So show up for that one. That's Ace Mitchell's sponsorship event. We're going back to Rutland, the Green Mountain Open with John Wilbur. 
Dexter and Paul Silvia, Savage Arms, Al Casper, Turbo Grips, Chris Sand, Grog Monster Sports, GMS Decorative Concrete, Clay Schwartz. They're now adding money to the Masters weekend. Callahan's Bolarama, the Callahan family. Jeff Barden is sponsoring us in Keene and in Manchester this year. Thank you so much, Jeff. Chicago Sam's, BowlingSeriously.com, Joanne Herman, Tony and Susie Renaud, and Bloomfield Electric and GMS sponsoring the Masters. Tech Vision, you're, listening, you're watching a Tech Vision presentation right now. We'll do $6,000 added to my dad's memorial fund. KR Strike Force, Brian Beaver. Yankee Lanes, DJ's Pro Shop, John Zawalik up in it's over. up in Auburn. Mm -hmm. Storm Roto, Leanne Hulsenberg. Thank you so much to all the brands of Storm for, ba for backing us. Better Bowling Concepts and Ideal Bowling Concepts, John Kirker and Keith Lang. Thank you so much to all of our 2022 so sponsors. Monroy stayed and clean to win his in the tent. Yep, he so won. Kevin and Monroy going to grind it out with a 2-0. Yep. And Kevin could not double this time, ends up 199. So Monroy will advance. Now, Bissonnette looked like he's got his match mm -hmm. cleaned up. So it'll be Monroy, Bissonnette, Jay Johnson. I've got to believe Tyler, although Stephen did just double. Oh, and now the that's four, a 4-6 four, six six. in the pocket. And that was a strange hit and a catastrophic hit for Stephen Major. So it looks like Tyler Perry will move ahead. Not that Tyler Perry, but our Tyler <laughs> Perry. <laughs> I keep thinking that. I'm like, where have I heard that name before? And then we have Jesse Gibson going down to Tyler Hearn moving ahead. Andrew Hall moving ahead. What finally happened in the Viali match? Viali lost. Valley DePito lost. doubled wow. in the, well, threw the first one to double in the ninth and tenth to wow. win. Wow, okay. Joe DePito mm. moves on. And Malik won his Malik match. Malik right? won his match against Brockett. So yes. there's, our, there's our eight guys. And uh, of those. There's, this is interesting, though. Jay still needs to have a good count on the first shot if Anthony can do strike out here. Because he got 190 he on the out. 190, 190 that's right. And and if he gets like 5-3 or 5-2, it's still, must still strike, a match. Must strike here for Fusco. Yeah, well, he got no it. Problem. No pitch. problem. Not that it looks like Jay's motion is going to give him anything more than 8 or 9, but. You never know. Yeah, his ball's going towards the pocket, so he's mm -hmm. <laughs> a he, he did. Jay did have a split earlier, so I forgot what that was. But and look at Tyler Tyler's on cruise control. cruising on 279 pace. It's funny. I had a conversation with Tyler earlier today. He's like, I went 250 my first game, and then I go like a buck 60, a buck 60. He's like, I was going to lose my mind, and then he he figured it out. Um, you know, he got back to two O's and. Uh, Made the cut, and now he's lined up and throwing it really good. We saw a lot of up and down games, as you said, switching pairs, switching sides. Yeah. Everything that was happening. So. Well, that was a bad ring, break right there. Ring 10. And that will do it for yeah. Fusco, I believe. We have, yeah. our, we have our eight guys, so it's not too soon to pick a winner. Uh, we can do it in the next oh. round. Of, oh, look at that <laughs> paralyzer five that goes out for Perry. And he says, okay, come on, bring it, bring it, guys, bring it. No thumb tape either. No thumb tape. <laughs> they never right. gave him the <laughs> tape, and he's still striking, <laughs> right, Ty? Uh, no so tape, I'm still striking. <laughs> he says, I don't need no stinking tape. He says, I, would, I wouldn't put it in now, that's for sure. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Amy Viali coming by offering our sponsor his poster for the week. Amy creating our beautiful artwork for each of the events that we have. Did you notice how many people were watching? Uh, just over 100. Yeah. Pretty good. Good nice. number. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yep. And if anybody wants to share the stream, we'd appreciate it. Get our viewership up. That will go up, by the way, as we go through the next round. Yeah. I saw my wife so was watching, so definitely like get to the say like you go. <laughs> likes you and go. shares out there. There you go. Yeah. Say hi Helps to Mary. Go, like yeah. the page. <laughs> And we appreciate everybody who tunes in. It's such fun to do this. Uh, it makes missing the cut a lot better. <laughs> I think if I just went home and steamed, <laughs> I'd be really mad. But now I get to come in here and watch all this great bowling and with all my friends and have great guys. I was guys steaming on my streams. drive home after my squad, so oh, geez, I'm all I know. I'm all simmered out now. So I know <laughs> you got to just get it out sometimes. So you know. had the windows down, the music up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. good times. Good times. When I ride by myself, that's absolutely <laughs> what I do. And uh, my wife, it's too bad, you know. It's like, could you just kick the dog and get it over <laughs> with, you know? And like, you know, too bad we don't have a dog. Three points down. There you go. And Steven, of course, lined up now. 
and it's going to be too little too late against Perry. Randy, can you join us uh, next round? Uh, can help yeah, us with the so I Tyler's know still in. To get out no, of here. Uh, Tyler's in my car to take him home. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so as long as, I'm, as, long as Tyler's okay. in, he's my horse right now. Since he so maybe he's your it sounds like he might be your choice to win. <sighs> I have to Is right now. Uh, okay. All right. well, he's averaging two forty. You don't have to do anything. Well, with, with the two He'll games so out, far though. in He'll qualifying, find out if you don't pick him. With the two games in qualifying, plus what he shot in the second squad, ever since he got into this IQ Emerald that he just drilled and went went in it. It looks really good. He, it looks good. He's averaging like 240 with it. So. Well, I think you might imagine who I'm going to take. Last time he was here, he bowled well as well, and Is that he right? just he lost to uh, Matt Fazone in the round of 16 on a really good like 230 to 230 game. All so. right. Well, we'll give you Perry. I'm going to take Andrew Hall. No surprise, surprise. No, Rich, no surprise. Any thoughts? That would be my second. I answer, was thinking really. uh, Malik or Malik's looking Malik good. Jay looks Johnson. Good. Jay looks good. Jay's got good, good motion. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, you can never count out uh, Chris Monroy either. Nope. So, well, unfortunately, you have to pick one. Yeah, so you, you can't I can't pick three. You can't hedge your bet with three. Oh boy, <laughs> ratio has got to be. better. By the way, I believe right. we're down to what one lefty? Is that right, Dennis? Uh, yep, Dennis is the last okay. one. Get well, back to me in two games, and I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, sure. No, it doesn't work that way. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> With, 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 with great live streaming comes great responsibility. So. Okay. Okay, guys, we're done. We'll, we're going to check out. We'll be right back uh, for the round of eight. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.